Yo, this is Fire Ants Blazing, and I'm going to show you a guide through of Windows 10. You just got through downloading it, and you get your screen like this. Okay, let's see. That's what the classic Windows 10 is going to look like. This is classic Windows 10, people. Nothing new. All right. First thing you're going to do is go to your start menu. I'm going to never help you navigate through all of this. And I'm going to go through these other icons later that's on the rest of the start menu. I mean the screen. But... First thing, first thing you're gonna see, you're gonna have your most used apps. If you upgraded, if you didn't, for, if you formatted your computer, um, you're not gonna see this. So it's like, don't even bother with it. File Explorer. This is where you have access to your your C drive, your D drive, your E drive, F drive, and all of your other music downloads and documents and videos. You also have access to your recent files that you got through downloading. It'll show all of that on the bottom here. That's how you get the, all of that. Uh, personaliz personalization. Uh, let's see here. We're going to go. We're going to click on this. Well, first of all, if you can't get the personalization from here, you can always click on uh, empty part of the screen on your desktop and just right click and go to personalize basically now if you want to change your password themes and all of this your lot screen uh, it's got all of this right here ready to go also they give you some new lot screens and they give you some new themes you can also download themes which is a lot better than some of the themes up here on Microsoft but I'm not knocking the Microsoft things. They are nice, my, nice themes, but they okay. But anyways, let me go back to the star menu. My computer freezing up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, next up, you got your settings, your power, and all apps. I'm gonna show you your settings. I'm gonna show you your settings. This is number two. You got your system, devices, network and internet, personalization, accounts, time and language, ease of, ac of access, privacy, and update and security. And this is the simplest way that you can get to your things that you need to get to very, very fast. This is where all your administrative, your administrative, you know, work areas all in the settings place next up is power I'm not gonna click on that and everybody should know what power means turn it off turn it on basically now your all file your recently added files will be up here on all apps when you click on all apps it'll show recently added apps from 0 through 9 A to Z it's got a list of every single app that is on your computer so you would never lose your apps if you lose your you know if you try to get lost on your computer you lost a file on your computer that has something to do with a application it'll be all up here on your all apps tab up under your power button all right now here's the other thing that is interesting about Windows 10. This is Cortana. Cortana, you can talk through. See, you can talk through it and it pulls it up on Bing. And also, let me show y'all something about Bing. Um, let's see. If you haven't signed up to Bing Rewards, you need to sign up to it now because there will be a redeem. You can get some redeem points and get free Microsoft Xbox Live points. Now, if you listen to me right now so far in this video, if you get 699 searches, you get a free month of Xbox Live Gold, 50 credits towards a Surface Bundle for your school. Things like that, little simple stuff. Free Hulu Plus. Can't go, can't go wrong with Bing. 
that's what Cortana Cortana does. Uh, also, if you click on the if you click on the regular just the space out there where the Cortana thing is, but not the microphone, you'll see a whole bunch of other things. It's got it's got an alarm setting. It's got show times. It can show what show your favorite TV shows. It'll also show reports. Uh, the Apple TV is coming in September. Also showing that all the trendy topics that you need to know and hear. It's also got stock market if you watch in the stocks. If you interested in certain certain foods, I think they got like certain certain deals they can get. The best store nearby your town. They go give you a a way to navigate through all of that and you can find the best pig out spots for right now and you're in a different town or your area okay next up I'm clicking down to notebook notebook is it's just gonna show you uh, it's gonna contain yeah it's gonna contain um, Cortana tips eat food and drink getting started getting around finances basically like GPS it's kind of like that kind of like real quick GPS go to settings you can set that up uh, I'm not sure I haven't used it yet but <clears throat> what you're gonna do is you just look at it and you can let Cortana respond to hey hey Cortana like that if you say hey Cortana it'll come up and it'll do a search for you on whatever you want to give suggestions to next up uh, reminders you can set your computer up to give you a reminder let's say let's say you gotta go somewhere today and um, at 2 o'clock in Thursday let's see yeah 2 o'clock on Thursday or Friday or whatever day it is you know you just you just add a reminder. It'll give you time, place, and person. And finally, on the Cortana app, it's got provide feedback. You can provide feedback if whatever you like and what you don't like. This will help Microsoft uh, make this better. That is as simple as that. If you got any questions navigating through Windows 10, just be sure to leave a comment in the description below, and I will be happy to assist you and guide you through. Also, remember to subscribe to Fire Ants Blazing. This is me. And also, if you want to look at uh, the Fire Ants Blazing uh, friends, Flash Final Vegeta, Duck Army, and Ming Money 94. And if you want to see them, just give them a shout out today in this video and check their channel out if you like some gaming hardcore gaming basically or hardcore and Dragon Ball Z <laughs> but um, next up the last couple of apps I'm going to show you that is up here is OneDrive OneDrive is uh, basically cloud storage and it'll be on your right side of the screen and you can set that up and you can basically put files on cloud storage. They are really promoting cloud storage. And Microsoft is doing a pretty good job at it because I got a couple of items on my cloud storage as well. That are very, very valuable. And if I were to crash this computer, my stuff on my OneDrive would be, still be up there. And I can just re-download it and put it on my computer when I get another laptop. So thank you Microsoft for giving us that. Also on the far far right it's called Action Center. Action Center is showing notifications and Windows feedbacks uh what's going on on your computer. And also if you got a tablet slash computer, it's got tablet mode. Let me show you. Tablet mode. And what tablet mode is? This is tablet mode. Basically it pulls up the whole start menu and put them all into tabs and that's it that's all I have right now on my computer right now and that's it to exit out of tablet mode you just click on a little blue highlighted tablet mode again until it grays out 
and then it goes right back to desktop mode simple as that um, there's another one called all settings and it still pulls up the same thing that I showed you here where settings is see it's pulling up the same thing so now on now this will recap you got you got two ways of accessing settings you got Cortana that's your new voice over search engine that we have for um, Microsoft you have uh, current and daily event ticker where it shows everything that's going on online that you want to choose to go on on your computer going on constantly in the background you got your Windows 7 forward slash Windows 8 tiles and you have Windows 7 style on your left and basically it's really really easy to navigate it's kinda like using Windows XP, Windows 7, 8 and Vista all at the same time that just put everything in a smaller easy to use compact version of Windows so if you have any questions in this video just leave a comment below and I will get back to you. And all y'all have a good one. And this is Fire Ants Blazing signing out.